Hey. Oh, it's quite a lot of you. So my name is Natalia, and I promise I will do my lightning talk, but a little bit later. First, I want to ask you a question. How many of you, like in the morning yesterday, have a light thought, like small thought in the head, I should do a lightning talk? Like, raise your hands. OK. How many of you actually think they can talk five minutes about thing that is written on their badge? I mean, people, you can't talk five minutes about thing that's most interesting in your life? OK. <laughs> then it's probably doing their own talk. So how many actually signed up for lightning talk? Oh my god, people. <laughs> so maybe because a lot of you actually thought if I will do a lightning talk, it will be the worst lightning talk ever. But here I am, I'm here, I will rescue you because this is actually the worst lightning talk ever. <laughs> <laughs> so I could have started with some boring description from the Wikipedia, but I won't. Instead, I will show some pictures from the internet. I mean, last, literally last evening, I spent a lot of time searching for a perfect image about JavaScript on the internet, and I found one, and it's super cool. I promise you will kind of enjoy it. It's like have a cat and a unicorn, and it's kind of pixelated a little bit, and like shiny. And maybe you're thinking now like, this, yeah, I mean, this not, doesn't sound like a cool image, but I promise it will be. Oh, it won't. It's actually the wrong picture. No. A dog ate my picture on the internet. Guys, what's happening? So uh, <laughs> we can survive it. Um, if we start to talk about lame excuses, let's start about talk about another lame excuse. I don't know what to do in open source because I'm not doing it because there is nothing to do there. I mean, I'm kind of boring guy. So I found a free project on the internet that you can participate in. First one is JS13. It's a very mature project that checks if value is weaker to 13. I mean, it doesn't do it in a simple way. It actually does it in all possible ways ever. And if you don't want to contribute to this project, there is another one. I mean, I mean, no, sorry. If you don't want to contribute to it one, this one, you can create a new one, JS17, and be your own god in your own project. Um, the other one is, the second one is the Vapor.js. It's kind of very famous one. Um, it's a fastest ever JavaScript module, probably because it doesn't have code in it. It's like zero line code base. But I mean, they still need your support documentation. Isn't going to be written by itself. And having an 100% test coverage, coverage on the zero line code base, it's actually an unsolvable problem. So. <laughs> And for the guys that like want to solve a real world problem, there is this project Be Busy that actually generates like like an output to a terminal pretending that your code that your computer doing something. Your computer look important, you look important, everyone is happy. If this is not a real world problem, I don't know what is a real world problem then. <laughs> oh actually this was a picture I was talking about. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it has unicorn and a cat and a JavaScript. Who thinks it's not a perfect picture? Or oh, think it's a perfect picture? I mean, guys, you could raise your hands. Like, just So it's a demo time. But because I don't have time, and I don't have actual demo to show, instead it will be a no demo time. It will take about 10 seconds. <laughs> Enjoy. I mean, guys, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> So, so what actually this talk is about? I mean, if you ever, ever have an idea, I should go and talk to people. I know this stuff, they probably don't. So next time, just do it. I mean, it can't be worse than this talk anyway. Thank you.